Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna show you how to easily make a one-page WordPress portfolio website, like this one, where you can easily navigate through the main menu, present your skills, and showcase your latest work, and get in touch with your clients. And to make this possible, we have to find a good hosting provider, a domain name and a good WordPress theme. For the web hosting, I am gonna use Hostinger, it is ranked as one of the top hosting providers in the world and is one of the most affordable ones which gives you great service in return. And as the Black Friday sales started, Let's check what offers they have. The first thing you have to do is head over to hostinger.com slash medashme. It is my affiliate link that will give you an extra discount in addition to what they already have. Hostinger offers an 80% discount for a 4 years subscription to a premium communicated plan. For just $2.49 per month, you can host 100 websites and receive a free domain name with free unlimited SSL certificates. Just select the premium web hosting plan. And there, you can select the period you want. I recommend going with the 48 months plan because it is eligible for the highest discount. Here you add your email address, then select your payment method. And for the extra discount, you could enter my coupon code MEDASHME, and then apply. Fill out your payment information. Then click on submit. And here we are in the Hostinger dashboard. From here you can claim your free domain but we will do it later. And now you have to set up your premium shared hosting. Just click on setup. The auto installer will be launched. Click on start now. Then select create a new website. Now select the WordPress option. And here you will be creating your WordPress account. Then click on continue. From here you can quickly choose a template for your website. But we will skip this step for later. You can use an existing domain if you have one, or you can claim a free one. Click on select. Then I will change this to dot com and then you check the availability of your domain i already have this one so i will add yt then click on search if your domain is available just click on continue now click on finish setup then finish the registration once the registration is finished, click on Manage Site. And now click on WordPress Dashboard. And to make your website secure, click here and install the SSL certification. Now we are going to create our portfolio website, and to do that, we have to install the theme first. So, go to edit website. Now you are in your WordPress dashboard. Go to appearance. Then click on themes. Scroll down, and click on add a new theme. From the search bar, write the theme name, Arrival Me. 
And this is the theme that we're gonna use. Click on install. Then click on activate. Once activated, click on let's get started. Then click on import demo. In order to be able to import the demo, you have to install this demo importer. Click on install and activate. Then hover on this demo and click on import. Install these required plugins. And then go to the next step. And now, click on install this demo. Now the demo has been imported. You can click on see the result. And this is our portfolio website live online and ready to be customized. We have this dynamic menu here. When you click on portfolio, it will take you to the work section here. Okay. Now the next step is to edit the content of our website. And to do that, click on edit with Elementor. And it will open this panel. In order to change this text, just select it, then write the text you want. I will write my name here. And I'll change this to logo designer. Now I click on this pencil icon. And then I go to style. And I change the typography weight to extra light. Now I will change the hover colors of this button. Click on the pencil icon. Then go to style. Now I click on hover. And then I change the button color to white. and the text color to black. Now I click back on normal, and then I change the text color to black. Now to change the button text, go to content, then change this text to whatever you want. I will change it to hire me. I think I forgot the ER here. Now to change this background image. Right click here, and click on edit section. From style, click on the image. Then go to upload files, then select files, then you can select any image you want. I will go with this one. Click open. Then press insert media. Now from here click on update. Then go to view page. You can see that the image doesn't cover the whole space. To fix that, go back to Elementor. Right click on the image edit section. Go to style. Then change the size to cover. Click on update. Then go to view page, and you can see that everything is okay. Back to Elementor. Scroll down. Here you can change this text to your bio. And to change this image select it, then click on the image. Then go to upload files, then select files, then select the image you want. Then click open. Then insert media. Now I select this button, and from style. I will change the main color to black and the hover color to yellow.
I click on hover. Then I select the color sampler. Then I click on any yellow element in this page. Then I click on the yellow color. Then it will be applied. Now, I change the hover text color to black. For the other button, I will give it the same colors but reversed. The main color is yellow, and black for hover. Scrolling down to the skills section. I will change this to my skills. And then you can write a description of your skills here. And here you can replace these already written skills with your own skills. I will change this to Figma. And this to After Effects. I don't want too much yellow on my website, so I will change the skills bar's color to black. Click on this pencil icon. Then go to Style and change this color to black. Now repeat the same process for the other bars. One more thing, I need to change this heading color to black. So, I select the text. Then I go to style, and then I change it to black. I will do the same thing for all the titles. Now to modify the numbers of this section. Just click on it. Then you can change it from here. And you can change this text also. Now in order to change this background image, just click on this icon, then go to style, and click on the image. Then go to upload files, then click on select files, then select the image you want. Click on open, then click on insert media. Then click on update. And go to view page to see the result. And everything looks fine, I like this parallax effect. Back to Elementor, scroll down to this section, I want to remove it. So click on this icon to delete it. Then to add a new one, click on this plus icon. Then click here. And then go to blocks. And here you can choose any category you want, like the contact and portfolio section. I will choose testimonials. And I will go with this one. I'll change the title to testimonials. And then you can replace these reviews with your own. Now I type the website URL to check out the result. Now I need to add a little animation to this text. So back to Elementor, scroll down and click on this icon. Go to advanced, then scroll down to motion effects, and change this entrance animation to sliding up. Then I will do the same for the rest. Click on update to save. and check out the result. Now we go back to Elementor.
For the portfolio section, I am gonna change the name to last work. And then change the image of the gallery. Click on this pencil icon. Then click here. Then delete these images. And then click on select files. Then choose the image of your work. And click on open. Then click on insert gallery. And that's it. Your portfolio section is done. For the contact section, I am gonna keep it like it is. And for the footer, I will change this gallery. Go to view page. Then go to customize. Now scroll down to the footer, and click on this pencil icon. Now click on edit gallery. Then delete these images. And then click on select files and add your work images. And click on update gallery and that's it. Back to the main menu. Click on this icon. Then click on edit menu. We have deleted the process section. So we have to remove its menu A item. Click on process. Then scroll down and click on remove. I don't think that the experience section needs to have a menu A item, it will be under the skills section, so I delete it. Now we will add the testimonials section to the menu. Click on add items then custom link. In the URL section write hash and the name of the section. And in the link text, type your item name. Then click on add to menu. Now I do the same thing for the about section. Now you can see that the new items added successfully to the main menu but when we click on them, it doesn't take us to the respective section. Like the skills item, or the portfolio one. And in order to fix this, go back to Elementor. Scroll down to about section and click here. Go to advanced. And in this CSS ID zone, add your section ID without the hash. Then click update. And then do the same for the testimonial section. Click on update to save. Then go to view page and test it. Everything works fine. Now, I have to arrange these menu items in the same order as the sections, so go to customize. Then click on this icon. Then go to edit menu, and then rearrange the items in the right order. And then click publish. To change the logo, click on the pencil icon. Then click on change logo, go to upload files, then select files, and then choose your logo. Click open. Then click on select, and then click on skip cropping. Now, I wanna change this button to a search bar, so, I click here. 
then I go to header settings, and then header options. Then scroll down to last item type, and change it to search. You can see that we got this search icon instead of the button, click publish. And you can see that our website is live and customized and ready to be used. That's it for today, thank you for watching, and as all of you asked for, I will be back to the logo design tutorials, and I really have great content waiting for you, so make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell icon, and stay tuned for more.